How do we solve our patients' hard-to-solve medical problems? Our doctors and specialists collaborate, sharing their vast knowledge and Mayo Clinic's unique expertise. It's this working together that helps solve our patients' hard-to-solve medical problems. Monument Health, proud member of the Mayo Clinic Care Network. Every home tells a story. Wherever you live, whatever your style, express yourself with Ashley Home Store. So many styles to help tell your story and create your unique dream home. Ashley Home Store, this is home. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at MenholtAuto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. American-made, we think quality and craftsmanship. That's why at Badlands Distillery, all of our spirits are made in-house, one small batch at a time. We believe the best spirits start with the best ingredients, so we're proud that the Badlands Distillery lineup uses high-quality, locally-sourced ingredients. So the next time you enjoy the smooth taste of a Badlands Distillery spirit, you know you're drinking the best. Badlands Distillery, proudly American-made. Everyone says they want to change the world. But not everyone will. We are not everyone. What Americans needed a car that worked harder than a car. We built them a truck. And they used our trucks to build interstates and industries and communities, livelihoods and neighborhoods. Americans needed vehicles worthy of who they are and what they can do. So, we built them a truck. As a Venture Communications customer, you're ready for tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection. You can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want, all the way up to a gigabit. And your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7. Change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today. How do we solve our patients' hard-to-solve medical problems? Our doctors and specialists collaborate, sharing their vast knowledge and Mayo Clinic's unique expertise. It's this working together that helps solve our patients' hard-to-solve medical problems. Monument Health, proud member of the Mayo Clinic Care Network.
Every home tells a story. Wherever you live, whatever your style, express yourself with Ashley Home Store. So many styles to help tell your story and create your unique dream home. Ashley Home Store, this is home. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at menholtauto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. For a great deal on your next ride, get into Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier. We're locked and loaded on all of our new and used inventory, like this 2018 Toyota Highlander, only $28,495. Looking for low price reliability? Try a 2011 Honda Accord for only $6,995. Who wants a loaded up truck? We have a 2014 Chevy Silverado 1500 LTZ for only $17,995. Get to Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier, 518 East Sioux Avenue. Call 605 224 7378 and visit Gateway FLT. Com. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. Harry K. Ford is your only dealer who does $29.95 oil changes every day. Yep, that includes all the oil for the vehicle. Those other guys don't do that. As a Venture Communications customer, you're ready for tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection. You can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want, all the way up to a gigabit. And your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7. Change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today. Your local cooperative has a new name. CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets in a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need, when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at menholtauto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. At Ashley Home Store, when we say we got it, we really mean it. We've got all the popular styles for every room in your home, as well as some of the highest quality and customer ratings in the industry. Not to mention, we've also got the top mattress brands like Sealy, Tempur-Pedic, and Ashley Sleep. And payroll deduction financing available so you can take time to pay. So come in today and see why your Pierre Ashley Home Store is the top choice for everything home. Hurry in. We're located on South Garfield Avenue in Pierre. This is home. Right now is a great time to be planning for the next growing season. Fall fertilizer application can give your crops a strong start in the spring. Because the nutrients available and needed in each field vary, 
your Agtegra agronomist can help determine your specific nutrient needs and the benefits of applying them now. To optimize your inputs for next year's crop, contact your Agtegra agronomist for details or visit agtegra.com today. Harry K. Ford, your go-to dealer for transparency and the lowest prices. From sales to service, we pride ourselves on transparency and low prices. It's who we are every day. Family, friends, and Fords, in that order. We've got a history of serving you. A history of family-owned community banking that goes back over 100 years. We grew up here. We're local. And local ownership means local decisions. It means our products are tailored to meet local needs. We take pride in our support of many local organizations and encourage community growth through charitable contributions and employee involvement. First Fidelity Bank, member FDIC. First class banking on a first name basis. Feel more confident and in control of your financial life. Ameriprise Advisors can work with you to provide personalized, goal-based advice based on your short and long-term goals. Plus, you can track your investments and financial solutions with our digital tools and regular meetings. Call John Pokup at 1-800-713-9160 to see the multiple ways I can help you on your retirement journey. Legacy Financial Partners, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, LLC, is located at 218 South Monroe Street in Winter, South Dakota. Member FINRA and SIPC. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at MenholtAuto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. Shop local with Burke and Gregory Building Centers, your hometown hardware stores, specializing in everything from finding the right drill bit to building your dream home. The crew at Burke and Gregory Building Centers take pride in customer service and are always available to help with any project, big or small. They offer top-of-the-line flooring and cabinetry, a large inventory of rental items, quality Pittsburgh paint, and so much more. Follow them on Facebook and shop online anytime at bgbuildingcenter.com. Join the team and take on your legacy. Since 1862, the South Dakota Army National Guard has been ready to defend our freedom and our way of life. When our nation calls, we are there to help our friends, neighbors, and communities in the event of forest fires, floods, tornadoes, and severe winter storms right here in South Dakota. Now we want you to write the next chapter in our rich history of the South Dakota Army National Guard. Visit their Facebook and Instagram pages or nationalguard.com slash SD. Limestone Canyons, flowing waterfalls, and pristine beauty make Spearfish a sanctuary for those seeking the ultimate escape. Outdoor enthusiasts will find top-notch sport climbing, mountain biking, and UTV OHV trails. Guests are steps away from peaceful hiking trails and tranquil streams. Relax and rehash your day's adventure at one of our award-winning local breweries. Finding rest is an important part of any adventure. Lodging in Spearfish comes with a variety of choices, from cabins, B&Bs, and campgrounds to the comforts of your popular brand-name hotels. To find your unique adventure in Spearfish, go to visit Spearfish. Now. At Monument Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, we are here to help you make your comeback. Our team is standing by to diagnose and treat your injury with some of the most advanced treatment options available and same-day appointments. Monument Health practitioners work closely with our therapists and physicians in communities throughout the Black Hills with locations in Rapid City and Spearfish. Visit monument.health slash orthopedics for more information. That's monument.health slash orthopedics for more information. Now is the time to save at Grossenberg Implement on Hydraulic Cylinders. Do you have an older one that you've been fighting for a while or continually or continuously adding hydraulic oil to? Then stop in this week and save 8% on all hydraulic cylinders only at Grossenberg Implement. Not sure you want to tackle the job to replace it? Grossenberg can do that too. Stop in today and see how Grossenberg can help you. Grossenberg Implement, service to the ag community since 1937. 
This is Jason with Dakota Carpet Restoration. No job is too small or too big. Leaked water from frozen pipes, sump pump failures, or a flooded basement? We can help. If your house is underwater, no problem. Call us right away. Even if it's 3 in the morning, we'll take care of the water damage before mold sets in. Dakota Carpet Restoration, 481-8709. The clean you expect to the service you deserve. Eklund Tax Service, located at 323 Main Street in Gregory, South Dakota, is available for all your tax preparations. Mark Eklund has been a staple in the Gregory community for many years and wants to help you and your business have success by specializing in all types of bookkeeping. Eklund Tax can take care of any agricultural, retail, or personal bookkeeping or tax preparation. Call Mark at Eklund Tax today at 605-835-9665. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at menholtauto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. The Gola Buffalo Casino at Lower Brule is proud of our area youth for their competitive spirit and participation in the various high school activities. It takes dedication and commitment to be the best you can be. It's all about sportsmanship and not whether you win or lose, but how you play the game. The Gola Buffalo Casino is your winning destination for great food and more ways to win. More often, our youth, our future. We at the Gola Buffalo Casino say thanks for all you do. When we think American-made, we think quality and craftsmanship. That's why at Badlands Distillery, all of our spirits are made in-house, one small batch at a time. We believe the best spirits start with the best ingredients, so we're proud that the Badlands Distillery lineup uses high-quality, locally sourced ingredients. So the next time you enjoy the smooth taste of a Badlands Distillery spirit, you know you're drinking the best. Badlands Distillery, proudly American-made. If you're hunting for a great deal on your next ride, get into Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier. We're locked and loaded on all of our new and used inventory, like this 2018 Toyota Highlander, only $28,495. Looking for low price reliability? Try a 2011 Honda Accord for only $6,995. Who wants a loaded up truck? We have a 2014 Chevy Silverado 1500 LTZ for only $17,995. Get to Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier, 518 East Sioux Avenue. Call 605-224-7378 and visit Gateway F. LT.com. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. Harry K. Ford is your only dealer who does $29.95 oil changes every day. Yep, that includes all the oil for the vehicle. Those other guys don't do that. As a Venture Communications customer, you're ready for tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection. You can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want, all the way up to a gigabit. And your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7. Change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today. Your local cooperative has a new name. CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets in a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need, when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. 
Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at menholtauto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park. From Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. At Ashley Home Store, when we say we got it, we really mean it. We've got all the popular styles for every room in your home, as well as some of the highest quality and customer ratings in the industry. Not to mention, we've also got the top mattress brands like Sealy, Tempur-Pedic, and Ashley Sleep. And payroll deduction financing available so you can take time to pay. So come in today and see why your Pierre Ashley Home Store is the top choice for everything home. Hurry in. We're located on South Garfield Avenue in Pierre. This is home. Right now is a great time to be planning for the next growing season. Fall fertilizer application can give your crops a strong start in the spring. Because the nutrients available and needed in each field vary, your Agtegra agronomist can help determine your specific nutrient needs and the benefits of applying them now. To optimize your inputs for next year's crop, contact your Agtegra agronomist for details or visit agtegra.com today. Harry K. Ford, your go-to dealer for transparency and the lowest prices. From sales to service, we pride ourselves on transparency and low prices. It's who we are every day. Family, friends, and Fords, in that order. We've got a history of serving you. A history of family-owned community banking that goes back over 100 years. We grew up here. We're local. And local ownership means local decisions. It means our products are tailored to meet local needs. We take pride in our support of many local organizations and encourage community growth through charitable contributions and employee involvement. First Fidelity Bank, member FDIC. First class banking on a first name basis. Left field and lead off. Paul Clark, the shortstop, will bat second. Dean Entringer, he'll do the pitching, and they bring out their ace, and he'll bat third. Chase DeWitt, the first baseman, will bat fourth. Tim Kupel, fifth. Chris Meyer will bat sixth. Nick Sayre will catch and bat seventh. Ian Barker in the A spot, and Adam Fritz, the center fielder, will bat in the number nine spot. So here we go. Right-hander Brock Anderson. On the mound for the Redfield Pheasants, he's 2-0 and on the year, and the right-hander delivers first pitch swing and foul back by Cam Quigley. Quigley, left-handed batter, 322 average on the season for the Gamecocks. Kind of tragic this year. Both Humboldt Hartford teams eliminated in the first weekend of the district. There's a little blooper that's going to be fair, fouled on the left field line, and it's foul just past third base. So it's two strikes on Cam Quigley. So Quigley going to have to protect left-handed batter. And Brock Anderson, the delivery, and it's a fastball, misses away. One ball, two strikes. Redfield Pheasants dressed in blue with red numerals and, and the name in the front, kind of hard to make out, and gray pants. There's a slow roller to third base up with it as dick out and the throw over to first base and cam quigley's retired five three on the put out paul clark will bat second for the coleman a's coleman wearing their more traditional baseball uniform gold tops with white pants clark bats right-handed paul 265 average this season kind of a slashing hitter Big field here, lots of room in the gaps. First pitch swinging, it's flared to the second baseman. Crum under it, and one pitch, and Paul Clark is retired for out number two. Here's Dion Entringer. When I got here tonight, I wrote Dion Entringer's name in my book because I said I knew at least one player where they were going to bat. He always leads off, but with Quigley in the lineup, they move Dion back to the three spot. 
And here's the first pitch to Entringer. It's a breaking ball. It doesn't break and goes over his head for ball one. Entringer batted 375 this season. Struggled a little bit this year. That's a struggle for Dion at 375. There's a breaking ball. Misses outside 2 0 oh, the count. Brock Anderson on the mound working quickly. Fastball swing and a miss at the thigh high fastball. Setting the jam and country starting defense for the Pheasants. Yondel in left. Binger in center, Logan out in right, Dick out at third. And there's a strike called on the outside corner. Kuhn at shortstop, Crum at second, Wren, the first baseman, Mitch Babcock, the catcher behind the plate, and Brock Anderson, the right-hander on the mound. 2-2 the count to Dion Entringer with two away here in our first inning. Line shot right to the third baseman, and Dick out squeezes in for out number three. So three up, three down for the A's in the first. We'll see what the Redfield Pheasants have in one minute. Feel more confident and in control of your financial life. Ameriprise Advisors can work with you to provide personalized, goal-based advice based on your short and long-term goals. Plus, you can track your investments and financial solutions with our digital tools and regular meetings. Call John Pokup at 1-800-713-9160 to see the multiple ways they can help you on your retirement journey. Legacy Financial Partners, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, LLC, is located at 218 South Monroe Street in Winter, South Dakota. Member FINRA and SIPC. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at MenholtAuto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. 103. Game time listed at 7.30, but at the state tournament, it de totally depends on the games before you. The second game this afternoon, the extra inning game that Lennox was defeated in, that got done at 5.10. And believe it or not, they turned the field around, and tonight's session started at 5.30. But we had a slow game before this one, so we start late. For the Redfield Pheasants, it'll be Jared Kuhn. The shortstop will lead off. Mitch Babcock will bat second. Barrett Wren will be in the three spot. Brock Anderson, the pitcher, is the, also the cleanup man. Drew Dickout will bat fifth. Levi Logan, sixth. Keith Yondel in the seventh spot. Kevin Crum, eighth. And Nate Benger at the bottom of the lineup. So here's Jared Keene. Big batting average numbers for Redfield Pheasants. This team, if you look at the numbers, this team can hit. Keen, a 405 batting average from the right side. And he takes a fastball from Entringer outside corner, strike one. Keen, kind of rare, he's a right handed hitter and he's almost standing on top of the plate. He really crowds the dish. An excuse me swing at a breaking ball. That was an awkward swing, strike two. Keen going to have to protect now, two strikes. And Entringer. Tries to overthrow a fastball. That's in the dirt. One ball, two strikes. Deanne Entringer working on the mound. He likes to work quickly. There's a breaking ball that bounces away from the catcher, Nick Sayre. Count even two balls, two strikes. Outfield playing deep, but what's deep at Cadwell Park? It's 340 down the lines, 374 to the power alleys, and a death-defined 420 to center field. And the breeze is kind of blowing in. There's a breaking ball. Strike three. Go sit down, Jared Keen. So one out, and that brings up Mitch Babcock, the catcher. Right-handed hitter. So if Keen bat 405, Babcock, he, bat, he bats 400. Right-handed batter. Open stance. He'll probably step at Entringer as the pitch is delivered. And entering or delivers a fastball high and tight, ball one. Barrett ran on deck. The Jammin' Country starting defense for the A's. Quigley in left, Fritz in center, Barker out in right. There's a fastball high, now 2-0. Oh. Meyer at third, Clark at short, Kupel 
at second. DeWitt at first. Nick Sayre behind the plate. And Entringer with his 3-2 and two record this season on the mound. There's a breaking ball. Misses away. 3-0. and oh. Time for the old automatic right down the middle. Let's see if Entringer can hit Sayre's glove. There it is. Strike call. Now 3-1. and one. Good count for Babcock. He can pick a part of the plate that he wants to cover, trying to drive it out into the gaps in left center and right center. And there's a breaking ball that misses outside. And a one-out walk to Mitch Babcock will bring up Barrett Wren. Wren, the power-hitting first baseman. 355 batting average. Courtesy runner. We got a, I think that's a Legion player coming in. Boy, their numbers are hard to read. Even their Legion numbers are hard. I think it's Easton Miller, if I had to guess. Yeah, he's got the Legion patch on his arm. So a courtesy runner on with one out here and entering her now from the stretch. And there's an off-speed pitch. Strike call. So Christian DeYoung, the runner. I don't even have him in my book. I'll write him in now. Legion. He's got the Legion patch on the arm, so I know he's a Legion player. Now he's in my book. One strike on Garrett Wren, left-handed hitter with power. Oh, wow. Entringer took a lot off that one, and it's a strike two called. Belt high changeup. And that froze Barrett Wren. Cleanup man Brock Anderson on deck for the Redfield Fennec Pheasants. Redfield with two teams. They also still have Dairy Queen. Chopper up the middle. Clark's going to cover it. He'll take. He'll step on second, and then a wild throw to first. That bounces off the front of the dugout fence, and Wren will advance to second on the air. So Babcock forced for out number two, but then the wild throw the the will put a runner on second base with two out now in the bottom of the first inning. No score here. We're just underway. And here's big Brock Anderson. Let's, I'm terrible at guessing heights unless I'm standing by him. Let's put Brock at about 6'3", 220. He's got some size to him. I know that much. Right-handed hitter. And he'll take a fastball high, ball one. Barrett Wren, the base runner at second, taking the deep lead, and he's going to walk towards the mound. Here's the one-ball pitch. Off-speed pitch. Gets him way out in front. Swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. This game has the markings of a pitching battle. Runs will be important here. Entering with a breaking ball. Cuts that outside corner. Strike two call. One and two. Coleman, one of the scary teams in the Corn Belt League. If they get pitching, they're pretty good. Fastball going to be slowly hit to the shortstop. Clark charges it, comes up throwing, and they get him by a step. Nice play by the Coleman A's. Redfield strands a runner. They fail to score. We're scoreless after one here on KJAM. Shop local with Burke and Gregory Building Centers, your hometown hardware stores, specializing in everything from finding the right drill bit to building your dream home. The crew at Burke and Gregory Building Centers take pride in customer service and are always available to help with any project, big or small. They offer top-of-the-line flooring and cabinetry, a large inventory of rental items, quality Pittsburgh paint, and so much more. Follow them on Facebook and shop online anytime at bgbuildingcenter.com. Join the team and take on your legacy. Since 1862, the South Dakota Army National Guard has been ready to defend our freedom and our way of life. When our nation calls, we are there to help our friends, neighbors, and communities in the event of forest fires, floods, tornadoes, and severe winter storms right here in South Dakota. Now we want you to write the next chapter in our rich history of the South Dakota Army National Guard. Visit their Facebook and Instagram pages or nationalguard.com slash SD. Welcome back. Dale Bartels with you in Mitchell. Hard work and Joe Engineering back in the studio. Joe called two games here today. 
and then drove back and now engineering for me back in the studio. Joe, you need more pay. Also simulcasting this evening on live ticket TV. I got the looks for radio and they put me on TV. What's up with that? For the Coleman A's who finished seventh in the 10 team Corn Belt League, it'll be the cleanup man, Chase DeWitt. And he takes a fastball under the hands. Ball one inside. DeWitt had a really good district tournament. He, part of those games, he put Coleman on his back and carried him here to Mitchell. There's a breaking ball that cuts the outside corner. Chase, 385, batting average through the season. Right handed hitter with good power. Chopper up the middle. That's going to find outfield grass, a leadoff single for Chase DeWitt. <coughs> Brings up Tim Koopel. Not Tim's first trip to the state baseball tournament. He's been here with other teams before. I know good to have him in the Corn Belt League this year. Coleman, glad to have Koopel. Second baseman bat from the right side. 293 batting average for Koopel. DeWitt at first. He's an ordinary runner. Pretty short lead over there for him. There's a breaking ball. Nice pitch. The unhittable. Outside corner at the knees, and then it dives away. I'm sure the umpire calls that on the very front corner of the plate. Strike one. Fastball high. Count goes even. One ball, one strike. And I don't think these guys realize what kind of power Tim Koopel has as the outfield playing shallow for Tim Koopel. Chris Meyer on deck. Breaking ball hit high in the air, and that's going to find the crowd. Kind of interesting on the foul balls here. If you want, you can take it back to the concession stand for $2. If you want to keep it, you get a state tournament souvenir. Heck, I'd keep it. They're worth about 8 bucks. Why take it back and get two? One ball, two strikes to Tim Koopel. He'll protect the plate. And, wow, good take. Breaking ball just misses. Two balls, two strikes. Brock Anderson. Redfield's ace. He looks really comfortable on the mound. There's a breaking ball. Inside corner froze him and then crosses. For out number one as Koopel looks at strike three. Chris Meyer, the batter. Chris, if they're... Chris batted 273 this year, and if I had a vote, I would vote him one of the most improved players that I've seen this year in amateur baseball. His bat has come to life. Batting here, playing third base tonight. And he looks like at a fastball away, ball one. Anderson on the mound, the big right-hander in the stretch. He sets at the waist and then delivers. Swing and a miss at a slider. Some kind of break in that ball, one ball, one strike. Anderson, kind of interesting on the mound. He's closed to the batter, so his back's almost facing the batter, and then he's going to throw across his body. Breaking ball, slow roller up to the hit pitcher. Anderson looks at the runner at second. He'll take the out at first, though, for out number two. 1-3 on the putout. DeWitt advances to second, so he's in scoring position, but it's going to take a pretty good hit to get him home, and here's the catcher, Nick Sayre. Nick batted 296 this year. Catches about two thirds of the game for, for Coleman. Paul Clark will catch some. Aaron Entringer's been known, to, the manager's been known to catch a little bit. Sayre looks like a catcher. Kind of low, wide body. And he looks at a breaking ball at the letters outside corner. Wow, if that pitch is going to get called, it's going to be a long night for the Coleman A's. One strike. Ian Barker on deck. Here's the one strike pitch as he looks back at DeWitt. Off speed pitch can be rolled to short to third base. Dick out. Holds the runner and then throws over to first to get Sare. 5 3 on the play. So Coleman advances a man to second base. Failed to score. We are scoreless here in Cadwell Park. We'll be back after these words from our sponsors. 
Limestone canyons, flowing waterfalls, and pristine beauty make Spearfish a sanctuary for those seeking the ultimate escape. Outdoor enthusiasts will find top-notch sport climbing, mountain biking, and UTV OHV trails. Guests are steps away from peaceful hiking trails and tranquil streams. Relax and rehash your day's adventure at one of our award-winning local breweries. Finding rest is an important part of any adventure. Lodging in Spearfish comes with a variety of choices, from cabins, B&Bs, and campgrounds to the comforts of your popular brand-name hotels. To find your unique adventure in Spearfish, go to visitspearfish.com. Calm now. At Monument Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, we are here to help you make your comeback. Our team is standing by to diagnose and treat your injury with some of the most advanced treatment options available and same-day appointments. Monument Health practitioners work closely with our therapists and physicians in communities throughout the Black Hills with locations in Rapid City and Spearfish. Visit monument.health slash orthopedics for more information. That's monument.health slash orthopedics for more information. Now is the time to save at Grossenberg Implement on hydraulic cylinders. Do you have an older one that you've been fighting for a while or continually or continuously adding hydraulic oil to? Then stop in this week and save 8% on all hydraulic cylinders only at Grossenberg Implement. Not sure you want to tackle the job to replace it? Grossenberg can do that too. Stop in today and see how Grossenberg can help you. Grossenberg Implement, service to the ag community since 1937. Here's Drew Dick out. Right-handed batter takes a breaking ball off the plate. Ball one. Dick out the third baseman. 185 hitter on the season. He's centered up in the batter's box. And there's a breaking ball that catches the corner. One ball, one strike. Quigley out in left field to pick up player from the game. Cox. Off-speed pitch. Misses away. And it's 2-1. and one. He's wearing the Gamecocks powder blue top, but he wears the white pants. <laughs> no powder blue pants for Cam Quigley. So 2-1, and one, here's the pitch. There's a fastball that sails away. 3-1 and one now. Logan on deck for the Redfield Pheasants. Pheasants managed by Jim Miller. There's a fastball fouled back out of play, and the count goes full. So an action pitch coming up here to Drew Dickout. Dick out, out of the box, now back in. Here's the 3-2 delivery. And it misses away. Second walk of the ball game for Dion Entringer. Dion on the mound this year. I would say that's the biggest difference from, let's say, three years ago when Dion was almost untouchable. A little bit of control problem this year. Here's Levi Logan, right fielder, 300 hitter from the right side. So Redfield trying to get something going here in the second inning. Short lead at first base for Dick out. And there's a off-speed pitch right down the middle. Ball one, or strike one, rather. The flags are hanging straight down. There's no air movement here at all on this sticky August evening in Mitchell. Here's the one-strike delivery, and there's a breaking ball. That Catches the top of the plate. Well, if you're going to call it for one team, you better call it for the other one. Right there's a high breaking ball called strike two. So Levi Logan, now a plate protector. And the pitch. Strike three, thigh high fastball. He takes it. Dion Entringer quick pitched him there. He really sidestep, shorten up the motion, and it froze Logan, and he takes the third strike. Second strikeout for Entringer. Here's the left fielder, Keith Yondel. 400 hitter, hidden back down here in the seventh spot in the lineup. Check throw over to first base. Dick out back easily. Really short lead for him over there. I think Dion just wanted to throw it over. DeWitt holding him on the bag. Breaking ball, strike called outside corner. Meyer, the third baseman, sensing bunt. He's been coming, he's starting to walk in on the grass as Entringer comes set. Meyer coming in again. Breaking ball, cuts that outside corner, and Entringer has found the plate. Two strikes on Keith Yondel. Kevin Crum 
in the on-deck circle for the Redfield Pheasants. No score here in the second inning. Deion Entringer, two-strike pitch. It's fastball going to be flared back to the concession stand area. Uh-oh, something broke. <laughs> These funny sound guys here. Two strikes. They have fun here at Cadwell Park. Swing and a miss. He blows them away with a fastball. By the way, in the pregame ceremony, two former Corn Belt League players were inducted into the Hall of Fame. Mark Atchison, longtime Colton player, also picked up many times state title with the Salem Cubs. He's in the Hall of Fame. And Alan Carroll, longtime Salem Cub player, both inducted into the Amateur Baseball Hall of Fame. Congratulations. Here's Kevin Crump, 295 batting average from the right side. He looks at a fastball high. Ball one. Nate Benger, the number nine hitter on deck for Redfield. Dion Entringer dealing with that leadoff walk. That struck out two in a row. Runner goes, and his hit and run was on, and the pitch is fouled back. One ball, one strike on Kevin Crump. You know, you get a sense of a team when you watch them warm up and you just watch them walk around. And Redfield, I don't get a sense that they're a really running team. They don't look like they're built for speed. More of a power team. Breaking ball misses away. Two balls, one strike to Kevin Crump. Fritz in center field playing shallow. The other two are playing pretty deep. Breaking ball hit high in the air behind third base. Meyer drifts into foul territory and has that behind the bag for out number three. So a runner stranded for the Pheasants. We've played two complete. We're scoreless here in Cadwell Park. We'll be back in one minute. This is Jason with Dakota Carpet Restoration. No job is too small or too big. Leaked water from frozen pipes, sump pump failures, or a flooded basement? We can help. If your house is underwater, no problem. Call us right away. Even if it's 3 in the morning, we'll take care of the water damage before mold sets in. Dakota Carpet Restoration, 481-8709. The clean you expect, the service you deserve. Eklund Tax Service, located at 323 Main Street in Gregory, South Dakota, is available for all your tax preparations. Mark Eklund has been a staple in the Gregory community for many years and wants to help you and your business have success by specializing in all types of bookkeeping. Eklund Tax can take care of any agricultural, retail, or personal bookkeeping or tax preparation. Call Mark at Eklund Tax today at 605-835-9665. Zero, Coleman and Redfield as we go to the third inning. State tournament action continues tomorrow, 11 in the morning, as the Salem Cubs start their state tournament against Cologne. Two young teams that are going to battle it out here. And if I heard Joe right during the Lennox game, that game will be on FM 103. Swing and a miss. A big cut for Ian Barker to start this third inning. Hardly recognize Ian. Years past, he had a big flowing beard. Now he's kind of trimmed up. Had a huge home run in the district tournament. Swing and a miss. He doesn't get cheated on that one either. As Anderson challenges him with a fastball right down the middle. It's two strikes on Ian Barker. It'll be Barker, Fritz, and Quigley here in the third. Fastball misses inside. One and two now to Ian Barker. Barker also carries part of the pitching load for Coleman. Breaking ball misses away. Now two and two. Here's the two two delivery. Anderson working quickly. A breaking ball. That one misses outside, and the count goes full to Ian Barker. Leadoff man here in the third. Fastball right down the middle, fouled back. And the count will stay at three two. That fastball at the letters. Base runners at a premium early in this ball game. 
Here's the 3-2 delivery again. Breaking ball. And just off the very end of the bat and bounced off the catcher. And he'll stay alive. 3-2. and two. Wasted a, a good pitch there. Anderson wanted that. Was supposed to be the, the punch-out pitch. Here's the 3-2 delivery again. And it's a fastball. And Barker starts heading the first. And the umpire says, not so fast. That's a strike at the knees. And Barker's retired for out number one. Second strikeout of the ball game for Brock Anderson. And here's the speedy Adam Fritz. Fritz basically a second leadoff player, runs really well. He's just got to get on base. Bat at 250 this season. Right-handed hitter, swing and a miss. Anderson starting to challenge the Coleman hitters. It's fastballs right down the middle. Here it is, hit it. Fastball misses inside. Now one ball, one strike. Anderson can throw pretty hard when he wants to. He can bring it. Here's the 1-1 delivery. That cuts the outside corner, belt high. One ball, two strikes. And right now Brock Anderson looking sharp this inning. Quigley on deck. And Anderson delivers. Breaking ball, fouled back into the screen. Count will stay one and two. And here's the delivery. Breaking ball misses outside. If you've never been to Cadwell Park, lots of room in foul territory around behind home plate and to the dugouts. That's the big concrete. There's a fastball on the inside corner belt high. And Fritz looks at strike three called. Three strikeouts in the ball game, and they've all been looking. Here's the left-handed batting Cam Quigley. Quigley ground out to the short to the third baseman first time up, so 0 for 1. 322 hitter on the season. Wide open stance in that left-hand box. And he takes a fastball belt high outer half of the plate. Strike one. Umpires got a little show on that strike call. Umpires wearing their cream colored shirts tonight. There's a breaking ball, misses outside. One ball, one strike. Haven't seen it yet. I still think they'll break out the camouflage shirts and then we won't be able to see them. They wore them yesterday. All right, they won't wear them again for a while then. One, one count and misses inside and it's two and one. Thank you, my live ticket TV guy. I don't know, the camouflage shirts bug me, and I don't know why, but they bug me. I don't get it. <laughs> Here's a 2-1 pitch. Check, swing, and fastball was high. I can't believe they didn't appeal that. Corn Belt League, they appeal every one. It drives me insane. But they didn't check on that one. 3-1 and one to Cam Quigley. Here's the pitch. Fastball, and he misses inside, and Cam Quigley, a serious base runner, goes down to first base. Two away, Paul Clark the batter. Paul popped up to the second baseman in the first inning, so 0 for 1, right-handed hitter. 265 season average for Clark. Holy cow, he's standing on the front chalk in the batter's box. He's way up there by the pitcher. And he takes a fastball high, ball one. Outfield playing deep, especially left fielder Yondel, way back there. Clark with line drive power. Check throw over to first. Quigley back but dirty. They made him dive. A lot of base runners, they like the check throw over there. They, that way they know how far they can lead off. Swing and a pop fly to the third baseman. Dick out. Under it, he has it for out number three. So the second infield pop-up for Paul Clark ends the inning. 0-0, Redfield up next. They'll bring up Binger. And in the top of the order when we come back in one minute. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at menholtauto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. 
Have a great game and knock one out of the park. From Denny Man Holt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. The Gola Buffalo Casino at Lower Brule is proud of our area youth for their competitive spirit and participation in the various high school activities. It takes dedication and commitment to be the best you can be. It's all about sportsmanship and not whether you win or lose, but how you play the game. The Gola Buffalo Casino is your winning destination for great food and more ways to win. More often, our youth, our future. We at the Gola Buffalo Casino say thanks for all you do. For the Redfield Pheasants, it'll be Nate Binger and then Jared Keene and Mitch Babcock here in the third of this scoreless ball game. Binger, the center fielder, right-handed hitter, tall, slender right-handed hitter, 180, 190 hitter on the season. And Entringer delivers. There's a fastball. Bell tie outside corner, strike one call. Surprise Redfield hasn't been chasing the first pitches. Because Entringer, he's there just about every time. There's a bunt attempt, and he missed the bunt attempt for strike two. Entringer with three strikeouts through two innings already. Now has Nate Binger in a two-strike hole here. And Entringer delivers. Breaking ball, swing, and a miss. Binger, strikeout victim number four. Why do you throw your ace first round? Well, if you don't win, you're done. It's, it's that simple. So you bring out your best. Top of the order, it'll be the second time through. Jared Keen. Keen, the right-handed hitting shortstop, struck out looking. His first time up, takes a breaking ball. Umpire thinks about it and then says strike on the outside corner. Entringer nods, now delivers. Breaking ball on the inside, and that's going to be rolled foul past Meyer at third. That'll be shagged by Quigley, and we'll be back underway. Two strikes on Jared Keene. Babcock to follow here in the third. Coleman with one hit in the ball game. Redfield with none thus far. Entringer, two-strike pitch. Fastball swing and a miss. He throws it right by him under his hands. Strikeout number five for Dion Entringer. And it'll be Mitch Bab Babcock. Babcock walked. First time up was forced at second base. Remember, these guys, are, these are 400 hitters here at the top of the order for the Redfield Pheasants. Entringer breaking ball stays high. Deion Entringer played his college baseball at South Dakota State University. One ball pitch. Fastball hit high in the air to left field. Quigley racing towards foul territory, and he seems to be camped under it, and he is. In foul territory, Bab Babcock's retired for out number three. We're one-third of the way home. It's 0-0 zero, zero here on KJM. When we think American-made, we think quality and craftsmanship. That's why at Badlands Distillery, all of our spirits are made in-house, one small batch at a time. We believe the best spirits start with the best ingredients, so we're proud that the Badlands Distillery lineup uses high quality, locally sourced ingredients. So the next time you enjoy the smooth taste of a Badlands Distillery spirit, you know you're drinking the best. Badlands Distillery, proudly American made. If you're hunting for a great deal on your next ride, get into Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier. We're locked and loaded on all of our new and used inventory, like this 2018 Toyota Highlander, only $28,495. Looking for low price reliability? Try a 2011 Honda Accord for only $6,995. Who wants a loaded up truck? We have a 2014 Chevy Silverado 1500 LTZ for only $17,995. Get to Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier, 518 East Sioux Avenue. Call 605-224-7378 and visit Gateway F. LT.com. Entringer chased him with Tim Koopel to face their hard throwing right hander Brock Anderson, finishing his warm up toss. Entringer started the end at the first inning with a line out to third base, hit it hard, but right at Dick out at third. So Entringer, right handed hitter, 
marches to the box, and we're ready for fourth inning action. We get Al out of the way. Al out there. If you've come to state tournament games, you know who Al is. He's a guy that kind of takes care of the umpires and the ball boys, and this year he's wearing a helmet. He's safer. High fly to center field on the first pitch. Binger charging, charging. Is that going to be a no man's land? I think it's caught by Logan, the left, the right fielder, and then he collides with Binger. Nobody hurt except for Dean Entringer. He's out. Wow, lots of ground cover there, and Logan hauls that in for out number one. I was watching Binger, and all of a sudden Logan appeared in my line of sight, and he hung on as Binger ran into him. Chase DeWitt, the only hit in the ball game thus far, takes a breaking ball low, ball one. The big right-handed hitting first baseman, single in the second end, stranded at second base. Here's the one ball pitch, fastball, he flinched at it, fails to swing. They appeal this one down to first, and then umpire says, don't look at me, that's not a swing. Two balls to count. Kupel on deck for Coleman. There's a fastball thigh high inside corner, two and one. Coleman excited to be here. They were devastated last year when they didn't make it. There's the two one pitch. Breaking ball, swing and a mess. DeWitt way out in front of that. Looking fastball, getting a off speed pitch, and DeWitt gets fooled. He'll step out of the box and pretend to readjust his gloves. Back in, two two the count. And Anderson delivers. Fastball swing and a mess. Makes him chase one out of the strike zone. Strikeout number four for Brock Anderson. With two away, here's Tim Kupel. The Coleman second baseman, he struck out looking his first time up. Who is going to get base runners first in this ball game? That's the question. Pitchers are dominating. Anderson has a fastball flare down the right field line, about 10 feet foul. Strike one. Redfield, you look at their pitchers' records, they have three pitchers who are 2-0 and on the season. So at least probably three starters that can throw the ball. Swing and a miss, a fastball in the outer half, and it's two quick strikes on Tim Kupel. Chris Meyer. Open Koopel can get the inning started with two outs. He's on, on deck circle. Here's swing and a miss. High fastball, and Koopel can't find it for out number three. 0-0 zero, zero here on FM 103. Dale Bartell said, I'll see you in one minute. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. Harry K. Ford is your only dealer who does $29.95 oil changes every day. Yep, that includes all the oil for the vehicle. Those other guys don't do that. Redfield coming up in the fourth. It's their turn to send the heart of their batting order up. It'll be Wren, Anderson, Dick out here in the fourth to face Dion Entringer. <clears throat> Entringer has struck out five. He has walked two batters. And first pitch swing, he's going to be a chopper up the middle, and that's going to get in between the two infielders, the second baseman and the shortstop. And they look at each other. I thought you were going to take it. No, I thought you were going to take it. No one takes it. And it's a leadoff hit for Barrett Wren. Shouldn't say this, but the no-hitter is spoiled. <laughs> so I hit a piece now for the two teams, and here's the big pitcher, Mark Anderson. He ground out 
to Clark at shortstop. His first time up. And there's a breaking ball that cuts the inside corner that started at him and froze him. And Anderson looks back and talks to the umpire. Hopefully he said, wow, what a nice pitch, because that was a dandy. One strike on him. Breaking ball hit high in the air, and that's going to go back to the bullpen area out of play. And down to the left field bleachers. I don't know why there's so many people down there. There's lots of people on the outfield bleachers tonight. It's kind of unique. Two quick strikes on Mark and or Brock Anderson with Drew Dick out on deck. Entering or working from the stretch. He sets up by the chin and then resets at the waistline. And there's an off-speed pitch. Swing and a miss. Strikeout number six for Dion Entringer. As he gets him to go after that belt high changeup. That's the first out. Barrett Wren. Still at first base, and the batters drew Dick out, the third baseman. 185 hitter, there's a pickoff throw. Oh, my, that was close. Wren back safely. That's one of those. He's got to dig dirt out of his pants because he had to dive hard. Dick out walked his first time up. Swing and a miss. Entringer gets him to chase a breaking ball out of the strike zone for strike one. Outfield or infield looking for a double play. Up the middle, they're kind of crowding towards second base. And entering or delivers. There's a breaking ball, freezes him, and then cups right through the middle of the plate. Two quick strikes on Drew Dickout. Dickout looks down to his third base coach. He basically just clapped his hands and told him to get back in the box. Entering her delivers. Breaking ball, and he just got a little piece of it to stay alive. Count will stay at 0-2. If Fritz plays anybody to pull, he's playing this guy to pull as he's moved maybe two steps to his right towards left field. Usually he just plays square straight away all the time. Another two-strike pitch. Fastball hit right up the middle. That's going to be stopped by Clark. And... They get the out at second, and then the throw to first is just a little high. I think it would have been late anyhow. So Dick out will reach in a fielder's choice. Wren is retired for out number two, and the batter will be Levi Logan. Logan, the right fielder, struck out looking from the right batter's box his first time up. So Dick out now, the base runner at first. He looks like he might be able to run pretty well. Entringer delivers. Breaking ball. Oh, my. Breaking ball cuts that outside corner, and the umpire says, nice pitch, and raises his right hand, and that's a strike. Logan, big right-handed hitter. Just, he looks like he's got power. Here's the one-strike delivery. Breaking ball. Swing and a miss. That pitch moved right out of his swing area. Lots of movement on that ball. So two strikes on Levi Logan. Entringer delivers. Breaking ball, going to be fouled back out of play. Got that off the very end of the bat. Dickout had taken off on the pitch. So he'll have to go back to first base. Count stays at two strikes. Levi Logan, he's got to keep doing exactly what he did on that pitch. Get rid of the good ones and find a pitch that he can handle. Entringer delivers. Excuse me, swing on a curveball right back to Entringer. Entringer throws about a 90-mile-an-hour fastball to first base, and Logan's retired 1-3 to end in the inning. Four complete. We're still scoreless. We'll be back in one minute. As a Venture Communications customer, you're ready for tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection. You can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want, all the way up to a gigabit. And your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7. Change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today. Your local cooperative has a new name. 
CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets in a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need, when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. And Coleman A's no score as we go to the fifth inning. The winner of this game plays Wednesday night at 5.30 against Kimball White Lake. Don't forget action tomorrow on FM 103. The Salem Cubs and Cologne in a matchup of two young, exciting teams. 11 o'clock in the morning on FM 103. Chris Meyer, Nick Sayer, Ian Barker here in the fifth for the Coleman A's. And a breaking ball misses away to Chris Meyer. Ball one. Meyer, the third baseman, the big third baseman, chopped one back to the mound his first time up. There's a fastball thigh high. Even the count of one ball, one strike. Sarah on deck. At least the catcher can take his gear off when you're batting number two in the inning. Breaking ball going to be rolled out to shortstop. Keen up with it. Takes a skip step and then throws over to first. And Myers retired. Out number one here in the fifth. Nick Sayer, the batter. Chopped one to the third baseman to end the second inning. Quite a pitcher's battle here as we near the midpoint of this first round state tournament game. Anderson with a breaking ball. Oh man, good pitch. Didn't miss by much. Ball one. Parker on deck. There he brought it a little closer in. Now gets the call and it's one ball, one strike. Anderson working quickly, delivers a breaking ball. It's going to be looped into center field for the second hit of the ball game for the Coleman A's. Nick Sayre with a one-out hit here in the fifth. Just out of the re reach of the second baseman, Crum. Nick Sayre now will get a courtesy runner for him. And it will be Cameron Pitts. Should I, should I make him take the courtesy runner pledge? Raise your right hand. I will not get picked off. I'm a courtesy runner. I cannot be dumb. There, that's the pledge. He didn't take it, though. He runs well. Oh, snap throw over to first. They're going to see how well he runs. He gets back safely. Barker, good power down here in the number eight spot. Struck out looking his first time up. Swings hard and hits it to center field. Binger. Ranging to his left, he'll squeeze that for out number two. For the A's, the center fielder so Coleman's going to have to deal with two outs here in the fifth. With Pitts, the base runner, the batter will be Adam Fritz. The Coleman center fielder struck out looking. First time up, right-handed batter, 250 batting average on the year. Anderson working from the stretch now delivers breaking ball away ball one Wow Yondel has heard about Adam Fritz's power to left he is he's way deep there's a breaking ball nice pitch strike call Anderson has struck out five thus far in the ball game and delivers. Breaking ball. Swing and a miss. As Fritz swings underneath it. Now Adam Fritz behind in the count. One ball, two strikes. So Anderson in charge here in this at bat right now. Here's the one-two pitch. And paints that outside corner. And struck out looking again. Adam Fritz ends inning number five for the Coleman A's. Well, we're halfway to the end of this ball game, and there's still no score. We'll send it back to AM Joe in the studio and return to Mitchell in one minute. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at menholeauto.com. 
Nenholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. At Ashley Home Store, when we say we got it, we really mean it. We've got all the popular styles for every room in your home, as well as some of the highest quality and customer ratings in the industry. Not to mention, we've also got the top mattress brands like Sealy, Tempur-Pedic, and Ashley Sleep. And payroll deduction financing available so you can take time to pay. So come in today and see why your Pierre Ashley Home Store is the top choice for everything home. Hurry in. We're located on South Garfield Avenue in Pier. This is home. 2021 South Dakota Amateur Baseball Tournament on KJAM. Proud to be the on-air home of the Corn Belt League. It'll be the bottom three in the order for Redfield here in the fifth. Yondel, Crum, and Binger. Keith Yondel, right-handed hitter, struck out his first time up. Entringer has struck out six batters through four innings. He's walked two and allowed one hit. Swing and a miss. Gets him to chase a breaking ball off the plate. Count even. One ball, one strike. Redfield likes to look down to their third base coach. Now back in the box. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Swing and a miss. At a breaking ball in the dirt. And it's one ball, two strikes on Keith Yondel. Deion Entringer with a good breaking ball tonight. Here's the 1-2 delivery. Fastball is going to be lifted into cent to right center field. And that's going to find Grass out there. He's going for two. The play is at second. And he's in time. He's going to make it. Just beats the throw. Good hustle by Keith Yondel. He had decided he was going for two as soon as he got out of the batter's box. And Barker's throw was a little bit to the outfield side of second base. And Yondel's in there with a double. Kevin Crum, the batter, he fouled out to the third baseman his first time up. He squares to bunt, puts, tries to put a bunt down towards first, and it goes back to the screen. And oh my, Chase DeWitt. <laughs> he was, the first baseman charged in where he was about 15 feet from the bag. You can, you can get hurt doing that, son. So one strike on Crum. And he takes a fastball high. One ball, one strike. Keith Yondel, the base runner at second. Pretty healthy lead at second for Yondel. And a breaking ball going to be hit into the gap in the left field. Cam Quigley charges with it, gets the ball to the infield, and they're going to hold Yondel at third. But that'll put runners at the corners now. A double and a single here in the fifth, and Redfield is threatening to score the first run of this ball game. Here's Nate Binger. Binger, the center fielder, struck out his first time up. Right-handed batter, 190 batting average for Binger. They get bat here. Third base is in. The others are playing at normal depth, and there's a breaking ball. Letter high, and that one's called a strike. Top of the order, Jared Keene on deck for the Redfield Pheasants out of the Northern Plains League. And he bunts down the third baseline. Entringer's going to field it. And his throw is going to sail on the right field. Oh, my. Bad throwing error. One run scores. Here comes the second run as Barker's having trouble picking it up. And it's going to be a Little League triple. As Binger. Ends up at third base. Two run score. See what they put up here. That they, they might they're talking about calling it a hit and then the air on the throw. Still waiting for the official score. Two runs scored though. It's two nothing. Two important runs. And now a meeting of the Argali on the mound. They like to call themselves the Argali. Still waiting waiting for hit or air. I think he would have been out, but I, what do I know? I just sit here with a headphone on, and, and they rule air. They agree with me. The the order, and 
So a, a Little League triple, Binger ends up all the way on third base after the throwing error. Two runs in, a runner on third, nobody out. And now we've gone from a pitcher's battle, Redfield threatening to have a big inning. Swing and a miss. Keen swings at strike one. Jared has not had a good night as leadoff hitter. He's struck out twice tonight, once swinging, once looking. The right-handed hitting shortstop takes a fastball at the knees from Dion Entringer. Strike two. Nate Binger, one of those active base runners at third base. Lots of dancing over there, trying to get the attention of the pitcher. High fastball, swing and a miss. Keen is strikeout victim number seven. So uh, you can read Dean Entringer's mind. All right, I already let two runs in. That guy is not going to score. I am going to, I'm going to blow these guys away, and he is not going to score. Here's Mitch Babcock, the catcher. 0 for 1, a foul out, and a walk. And here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, and Entringer's just rearing back and throwing him past him. Entringer working from the full windup with the runner at third. Dion shakes off his catcher, shakes him off again, and now the batter says time. And the umpire allows it. Babcock back in the box. Now here's the one strike delivery. Fastball misses low and away. Count one ball, one strike. Garrett Wren on deck for the Redfield Pheasants. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. Off-speed pitch going to be rolled to the third baseman. And, oh, no. The runner didn't go because he thought it was foul. And then Meyer launches the throw into right field. A run scores, and the batter's going to end up on second base with an excuse me bunt. Not a good baseball play there. So 3 nothing now the score. Somebody, somebody may be called time, or they think it might have hit the batter in the box, which would make it a dead ball. No one went. No one moved. The, the catcher didn't move. Entringer didn't move. The batter didn't move. And then all of a sudden, Chris Meyer comes up throwing the third baseman. <laughs> and then they all moved. Because Ian Barker had to go fetch the ball out in right field. Now the umpires meeting. And I think it's going to be... They, uh, they rule the play is fair. And now Aaron Entringer, the Coleman manager, he wants an explanation of, well, okay, how can that be fair? Just a weird, weird baseball play. No one moved until Meyer threw the ball. Courtesy runner, Christian DeYoung back in. And the batter will be the left-handed hitting Barrett Wren. Wren, one for two with a single, also reached on an air in the first inning. Three runs in, it's three nothing, with one out here in the fifth. Redfield's put a crooked number up on the board. Off-speed pitch, swing and a miss as he gets Wren way out in front of a change up in the outer half. Big Brock Anderson on deck for Redfield. Entringer looks at the runner. He's got a big lead at second. Another off-speed pitch. Swing and a miss. Back-to-back change-ups from Entringer. Working from the stretch now with the runner at second. Here's the two-strike delivery from Dion Entringer. Fastball going to be chopped to second base. Koopal has to back up. He'll take the out at first and get that. The base runner will advance to third. And two away now. 4-3 on the putout. Wren's retired. And here's Mark Brock Anderson, the pitcher. Anderson 0 for 2. Ground out strikeout for the right-handed hitter. Run number four stands there at third base. As good as Anderson's pitch, and Coleman doesn't want to fall too far behind. Entringer nods yes, now delivers. 
Off-speed pitch, swing and a miss. Boy, his changeup. He was throwing really hard in the early innings, and now all of a sudden the changeup has come, and he's got Redfield way out in front. Here's the one-strike pitch. Fastball. <laughs> Throw. <laughs> that is nasty. Throw changeup, changeup, and then come with about an 85-mile-an-hour fastball, and right by him. Here's the two-strike delivery. Breaking ball, swing, and a miss. And Anderson strikes out to end the inning. But damage is done. Redfield scores three runs on two hits, and they leave a man on base. A couple of errors led to Coleman's undoing. Can Coleman come back? We'll find out in one minute. Right now is a great time to be planning for the next growing season. Fall fertilizer application can give your crops a strong start in the spring. Because the nutrients available and needed in each field vary, your Agtegra agronomist can help determine your specific nutrient needs and the benefits of applying them now. To optimize your inputs for next year's crop, contact your Agtegra agronomist for details or visit agtegra.com today. Harry K. Ford, your go-to dealer for transparency and the lowest prices. From sales to service, we pride ourselves on transparency and low prices. It's who we are every day. Family, friends, and Fords, in that order. We've got a history of serving you. A history of family-owned community banking that goes back over 100 years. We grew up here. We're local. And local ownership means local decisions. It means our products are tailored to meet local needs. We take pride in our support of many local organizations and encourage community growth through charitable contributions and employee involvement. First Fidelity Bank, member FDIC. First class banking on a first name basis. Cam Quigley to lead off. It's the top of the order here in the sixth. For Coleman, fastball into the hands, swing and miss. Can't hit it with a small part of the bat. Quigley 0 for 1 with a walk, and there's gets a piece of fastball on. Hopefully it didn't go out in the parking lot and hit the mobile KGM Sports Studio out there. I think I parked far enough away. Two quick strikes on Cam Quigley. Cam, one of those fun players, Humboldt Hartford, both Humboldt Hartford teams got a bunch of young guys just like him. They all played running back for West Central football, and they're, they all are they're just good athletes playing baseball. Unfortunately, this year, pitching a problem for both of them. They're not here. Fastball away. Now one ball, two strikes to Quigley. Anderson delivers. That's way outside, two and two. Get Quigley on base, and that'll give Coleman a chance here. As they trail in the sixth, Quigley can run. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Fastball, that's laced into right field, and that might find the gap. And Quigley takes a big turn at first, and he's going to head back to first base with a leadoff single here in the sixth. Following Quigley, it'll be Paul Clark. Paul, couple of infield Flyouts are infield pop-outs tonight. One to second, one to third. 265 hitter on the year. Looking to get this inning rolling for Coleman here in the sixth. He squares to bunt. They're going to play small ball, and he fouls that to the on-deck circle. Strike one. Typical pitch when you think somebody's going to bunt. I've seen it all year. Here comes the high fastball, probably the hardest pitch to bunt, and there was one there from Anderson. Look for a high fastball again here. One strike. And he squares to bunt. And then pulls the bat back and takes a strike. So two strikes on Paul Clark with Entringer on deck. Here in the six, Coleman trailing. Three nothing. Snap thrower to first, Quigley back. Outfield playing straight across, which means Binger's shallow in center. Yondel and Logan are deep in the corners. Here's the two-strike pitch. Another throw over, and oh man, they almost had Quigley picked off. Matter of fact, 
the Redfield bench, the Redfield dugout trying to sell the umpires that that was a good pickoff. I didn't think it was. I thought Quigley was back, but it was close. Two strikes. Anderson showed the good move there. Fastball going to be one hop past. Keen, the shortstop, and Quigley's trying for third. He'll beat the throw. And runners at the corners. Coleman's in business here in the sixth. Clark with a single. Quigley turns all the way over to third. And with nobody out, Dion Entringer. Who would you rather have up if you were the Coleman A's but Dion Entringer? Entering her 0 for 2s, hit the ball in the air twice today. Once lined out to third base, and then the other time flew out to right field. So 0 and 2, or 0 for 2. Clark, short lead at first. Quigley taking a walking lead at third. And there's a breaking ball that Entringer takes for strike one. Brock Anderson, the big right-hander on the mound. He struck out six in this ball game thus far. Allowed four Coleman hits. Breaking ball hit high in the air, and it's going to be playable. Foul territory by the dugout, and it's overrun by both Wren and Babcock as the first baseman and catcher can't find it. And now, first they flashed air on it. I got news for them. It's not an air until this at bat is over. Two strikes on Dion Entringer. He's going to have to protect the plate. Right-handed hitter. Hits a ground ball to shortstop. Keen up with it. They get the out at second. Can they turn the double play? No, as a ball pops out of the first baseman's glove. But Entringer had it beat out anyhow. So Clark's retired at second for out number one. Kim quickly scores. Coleman's on the board. 3-1 now the score. And Entringer reaches first on the fielder's choice. So one out now, one run in, and Chase DeWitt, the big power hitting first baseman in the batter, 385 batting average this season, the leading batter for the Coleman A's, singled and was stranded at second base in the second inning, struck out swinging last time up, and there's a line drive to the gap in right center field, and Entringer has a hitch in his giddy up as he walks into third base and he's not doing well. Big hit by DeWitt. They hold him at first as Binger hustles over and gets at an Entringer is not okay but he's still going to be in there as he's doubled over with his hands on his knees. Entringer at third. DeWitt at first. The batter will be Tim Koopel. The right-handed hitting second baseman has struck out twice tonight, once looking, once swinging. One away. This is a big at bat here for Coleman. Chopper, two-third. It's handled by Dick out, and they've got entering her in a rundown, and he's not running very well. And now the throw, they're pushing him towards home, and now the Anderson's going to try to run him back, and DeWitt smartly advances all the way to third. So they get entering her in a rundown, and I'm just going to put it as 5-2-1, uh, and we'll call that good for the out. DeWitt smartly advances all the way to third on the rundown. Koopel, on a fielder's choice, advances all the way to second. Good base running by Coleman. Entering her contact play was on. He came home on the, on the swing, and they get him in a rundown for out number two. So two men in scoring position. Chris Meyer, it's time for you to get a hit for the Coleman A's. And he goes after the first pitch fastball, fouls that back. One strike. Meyer batted 273 this year. 0 for 2. Two ground ball outs, one to the pitcher, one to the shortstop. So one strike on Meyer, Nick Sayer on deck with the shin guards on with two outs here. Anderson delivers. Fastball, that's low. One ball, one strike. Coleman with five hits. Redfield with three. But Redfield leads three to one. Anderson looks at a breaking ball. Nice pitch. Cuts that outside edge. 
And it's strike two on Chris Meyer. One ball, two strikes that count to the right-handed hitter. Two men on, both in scoring position. Here's the one-two delivery. Swing, and it's fouled off, and uh, Babcock can't hang on. So strike three averted, everted there, averted. And it'll stay at a one and two. Cup Kupel at second. DeWitt and an excuse me swing, and it's going to be fielded by the shortstop, Keen, and he'll throw out Meyer to end the inning. So Coleman scores one, Strand two more in scoring position. But they've made a mark. It's 3-1 Redfield, bottom of the sixth in one minute. Feel more confident and in control of your financial life. Ameriprise Advisors can work with you to provide personalized, goal-based advice based on your short and long-term goals. Plus, you can track your investments and financial solutions with our digital tools and regular meetings. Call John Pokup at 1-800-713-9160 to see the multiple ways they can help you on your retirement journey. Legacy Financial Partners, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, LLC, is located at 218 South Monroe Street in Winter, South Dakota. Member FINRA and SIPC. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at MenholtAuto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. We have a bingo called in the top of the sixth. No, no, no. The crowd deserves to boo that guy. That's way too early. Keeping an eye on Dion Entringer here. He kind of pulled up when he was running the bases last inning, seeing how he's throwing here, and he still looks a little ginger out there on the mound. And he'll be facing Dick out, Logan, and Yondel here in the sixth. <laughs> Redfield scored three in the fifth inning to grab the lead in this when the pitchers battle kind of fell apart in the fifth coleman answered with one in their half of the sixth and right-handed dick out looks at a breaking ball <laughs> the umpire thinks about it and then says strike one dick out is 0 for one with a walk this evening the third baseman off-speed pitch is going to be just softly stroked and handled by clark the shortstop as he runs back into the grass. And there's the, the bingo's good. So this gentleman is gonna, he's gonna get the disdain of the entire crowd, but he's smiling, he's happy. One away, Levi Logan the batter. Logan, the right fielder, 0 for two. Strikeout and a ground out tonight. And there's a breaking ball that misses away, ball one. Yondel on deck. Swing and a miss at a fastball as Entringer reaches back and finds some heat. Enjoy that, son. The crowd's going to hate you. Welcome to the South Dakota State Amateur Baseball Tournament. At least I haven't heard Baby Shark yet. I'm good. Breaking ball going to be rolled to shortstop. Clark scoops it picks it up again as he bobbled it and the throw is late. The throw gets away from DeWitt but Logan's going to stay there and it's going to be an error on the shortstop I can guarantee you as it hit Clark's glove there's E as the throw would have been late anyhow but DeWitt couldn't come up with it and Logan is on again or Logan's on for the first time one away Here's Yondel. Yondel doubled and scored to start that fifth inning. Entringer delivers. He squares to bunt. Puts a bunt down. I think that bounced off his leg, but they're playing on. And the catcher will throw him out. And the umpire finally says time. It obviously bounced off his leg. And they just keep playing. Yeah, I know. Foul ball. It hit him in the leg in the batter's box. Duh. 
State tournament time. Everybody's nerves are a little bit tight, except for mine. I'm cool, calm, and collected. It was obvious that hit him in the batter's box, and I guess they're after that play last inning, they decided they better run on every ball that touches a bat. One strike on Keith Yondel. Entering or delivers, fastball makes him move his feet. And now one ball, one strike. Dion Entringer, kind of known for that, throwing inside, making batters move, making them uncomfortable. He hasn't shown much of that tonight. There he finally did as he backs Yondel away from the plate. Off-speed pitch, swing and a miss, and that fastball inside had a purpose. Here comes the changeup right after it. One and two now. Kevin Crum on deck for the Redfield Pheasants. He singled and scored last time up. So dangerous stretch of batters here for Dion Entringer with one out in the sixth. Entringer delivers. A fastball just missed. You can see the umpire calculating, calculating. Is that a strike? No, it missed outside. Two and two. Yondel steps out of the box. Now back in. Thank you, ma'am. I would love to blow that fan up here. That would be good. Sticky night out here. Almost starting to get a little hazy now. Or else my glasses are fogging up. One or the other. Fastball just misses away. Dion trying to nibble here a little bit. Three and two now. Dion will try to blow him away with a fastball here next pitch. I would guess. Of course, I'm old and just sit up here and watch these great athletes play. Here's the three-two delivery. There's a fastball, and he misses low, and entering are not happy with himself, I think, as he walks him. Logan goes to second, Yondel at first, two men on, one out, and Redfield threatening again here in the sixth with Kevin Crum the batter. Crum one for two, fouled out in the second, singled and scored in the fifth. Entering or working from the stretch. The right-hander, who, when he's not pitching, plays shortstop for Coleman, delivers. There's a fastball on the outside corner, thigh high, strike one call. Entringer has struck out seven this evening. Allowed still only three hits. Breaking ball misses outside. Count even now to ball and a strike. Speedy Nate Binger on deck for Redfield. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Nice pitch, belt high, outer half. Crum takes that. One ball, two strikes now. And Crum's going to have to protect here with Entringer being ahead in the count, one, one and two. Entringer looks at the runner at second. Big lead there. Fastball is going to get flared over the first base dugout. That's one thing in this game. The kids that chase foul balls for money, they haven't made a lot of money tonight. There hasn't been a lot of foul balls. The ball's been in play. One and two, the count. Entering or shakes off his catcher twice. Now comes set and delivers a fastball. And the umpire rules that low. Pretty good pitch. <coughs> two and two, the count. Entringer looks at the runner at second. Another big lead there, and there's a breaking ball, and the count goes full. Three and two. Levi Logan, the base runner at second. Yondel, the base runner at first. Boy, you walk Kevin Crum, you got the bases loaded, and this inning's threatening to fall apart. Here's the three-two delivery. Breaking ball, it's hot, high, and he walks him. So back-to-back -back walks with an air in front of him, and you got the bases loaded. And that'll bring manager Aaron Entringer out. And I, if I know how his relationship with Dion goes, he's not going to pull him. Dion will pull himself. He'll just go, how you doing? Are you okay after that? You pull up a little lame running. I'm fine. I can already hear it. I'm fine. <laughs> Base is loaded, one out. Coleman's going to need good things to happen here in the sixth inning. 3-1. Redfield with the lead. 
And I would guess, I bet my conversation was pretty close to exactly word for word, because here he comes back. I should know the relationship between Aaron Entringer, the manager, and Dion Entringer, the pitcher. I think they're cousins. If they're brothers, that conversation probably didn't happen that way at all. But if they're cousins, it probably was that way. Binger, swing and a miss as he chases a breaking ball off the plate. Nate Binger, the number nine hitter. 0 for 2 on the night struck out. He did reach on an air and score in the fifth. One strike to count, and off-speed pitch, swing and a miss, and he's got Benger swinging at everything, and it's two strikes. One out, Jared Keene, the top of the order on deck for the Redfield Pheasants out of the Northern Plains League. They got Aberdeen in their league, holy cow. Two-strike pitch, breaking ball just misses. One ball, two strikes. Entringer, still a pitcher's count at one and two, even though the board says one ball, one strike. I'm right. I'll guarantee it. Sometimes I don't watch the game, but I'm watching this one. It's one and two. <laughs> don't tell A.M. Joe, my boss, that. Here's the one-two delivery. Fastball. Oh, my. Good pitch. How did he take that? He takes it for a ball. Two-two. Belt high fastball just off the plate. And Entringer, he wants him this pitch. You do not want to go full count with the bases loaded. 2-2 two -two delivery as a high fastball chopped back off of the catcher, Nick Sayre. And we'll do 2-2 two -two again. Bases loaded, one out here in the sixth. We got a ball game, it's 3-1. But Redfield's threatening here to bust this one open. Entringer delivers. Breaking ball, that stays high and we've gone full count. No place to put him. Nate Binger, 190 batter. Here he is, bases loaded, state tournament. And Entringer delivers. Fastball swing and a miss, he blows him away. Out number two, strikeout number eight for Dion Entringer. Now he's got to deal with the leadoff man. Here comes the 405 batter, Jared Keene. But Entringer has had Keene's number tonight thus far. Keene, 0 for 3, 3 strikeouts. So he wants redemption against Entringer. Fastball going to be ground to shortstop. Clark ranges to his right, and he holds it, and they can't get it out anywhere. He thought about going to third, and they realized we're not going to get him. And by the time he looked at third base, everybody's safe, and I bet they call that an infield single. It's not an it's not an error. So an RBI for Jared Keene as Logan scores. Base is still loaded. Clark had to go a long way to get that ball. And by the time he did, he looked at third, realized he couldn't get him, and he couldn't get anybody else. Breaking ball, swing and a miss, and Dion Entringer is going to try to take care of this mess himself. Strike one on Mitch Babcock. Babcock 0 oh, 0 for 2 in the ball game with a walk. And there's a fastball at the knee, strike 2 call. Here's the two strike pitch from Dion Entringer. Wants to send Coleman back to the dugout. Breaking ball high. One ball, two strikes. Babcock, a 400 hitter. They're scary at the top of the order. Here's the one two pitch. Breaking ball, swing and a miss, and he strikes him out to end the inning. So Redfield could have got more. They only get one. One run, one hit, and they leave three on. It's 4 1. It's announcer stretch time, top of the seventh, when we come back here on FM 103. Shop local with Burke and Gregory Building Centers, your hometown hardware stores, specializing in everything from finding the right drill bit to building your dream home. The crew at Burke and Gregory Building Centers take pride in customer service and are always available to help with any project, big or small. 
They offer top-of-the-line flooring and cabinetry, a large inventory of rental items, quality Pittsburgh paint, and so much more. Follow them on Facebook and shop online anytime at bgbillingcenter.com. Join the team and take on your legacy. Since 1862, the South Dakota Army National Guard has been ready to defend our freedom and our way of life. When our nation calls, we are there to help our friends, neighbors, and communities in the event of forest fires, floods, tornadoes, and severe winter storms right here in South Dakota. Now we want you to write the next chapter in our rich history of the South Dakota Army National Guard. Visit their Facebook and Instagram pages or nationalguard.com slash SD. We've played six innings complete. It's 4-1 Redfield over Coleman. The Corn Bell League is 2-3 and three in the state tournament thus far. I thought we'd be better than that. Our losses have been so close. Flander took care of Tabor 9-4. That was a big win. Mudcats pounded Lake Norton 15-0, and I think that was in six innings. But the losses, Canova shut out by Alexandria 2-0. Lesterville gives up a... Scores a run in the ninth to beat PBR 6-5. to five. And then Larchwood scores a run in the tenth after Lennox scored a run in the eighth and a run in the ninth to tie it. So two and three, and there's a strike to start out the seventh inning. Nick Sayre, Barker, Fritz, the bottom three in the order for Coleman, facing the big right-hander. And there's a fastball off the small part of the bat. That'll be rolled to second base and Crum throws him out at first base for out number one. Nick Sayers retired 4-3 on the play. Ian Barker, the batter. Ian hasn't been cheated on swings tonight. He's swinging hard, but he struck out once looking and flew out to center field. The right fielder, 257 batting average on this season. And the first pitch from Anderson's a breaking ball and misses away. One ball. 4-1. Coleman, one run on five hits. They've committed four errors, four runs, three hits. Line, drive down the left field line, and that's going to be foul by about six feet. Just a long strike, one ball, one strike. Good contact from Barker. Put it down there. If you've been here, it's down in the dug in the warm-up area for the pitchers, the bullpen. One ball, one strike, one out here in the top of the seventh. Brock Anderson, the right-hander delivers. Breaking ball swing at a mess. As Barker out in front of that one, now one and two. Barker is, or Anderson has struggled. High, fly ball, right field. Logan, does he have it? He looked for a second like he lost it, but he finds it and, and squeezes it for out number two. Fly ball to right field, Barker's retired. And it'll be the number nine batter, Adam Fritz. Adam's having a tough night. And we got a pinch batter here. Left-handed batter in the box. Fritz out of the ball game. Swing and a miss. And the white numbers on the yellow shirts just don't work for me. I need to take a black magic marker and outline them numbers. Trying to just is Colt Hawkins a left-handed batter? And <laughs> Joe Van Gore, the PA announcer, he can't read the number either. So we don't know who this is. One ball, two strikes. It is a left-handed batter, though, batting for Fritz. And he fouls a fastball. So one and two to the pinch hitter. And he fouls a high fastball off. Has a play for Coleman, number nine, Jordan Sayre. Say Jordan Sayre is the batter for Fritz. Jordan plays some outfield for Coleman, hitting for Fritz here. Swing and a miss as he goes after a low fastball. And Jordan Sayre is retired for out number three. Three up, three down. Three up, three down in the seventh for Coleman. 
They'll be playing a whole bunch of games here, and they'll play the song, and I'm not going to sing it. We'll be back in one minute. Limestone canyons, flowing waterfalls, and pristine beauty make Spearfish a sanctuary for those seeking the ultimate escape. Outdoor enthusiasts will find top-notch sport climbing, mountain biking, and UTV OHV trails. Guests are steps away from peaceful hiking trails and tranquil streams. Relax and rehash your day's adventure at one of our award-winning local breweries. Finding rest is an important part of any adventure. Lodging in Spearfish comes with a variety of choices, from cabins, B&Bs, and campgrounds to the comforts of your popular brand-name hotels. To find your unique adventure in Spearfish, go to visitspearfish.com. Calm now. At Monument Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, we are here to help you make your comeback. Our team is standing by to diagnose and treat your injury with some of the most advanced treatment options available and same-day appointments. Monument Health practitioners work closely with our therapists and physicians in communities throughout the Black Hills with locations in Rapid City and Spearfish. Visit monument.health slash orthopedics for more information. That's monument.health slash orthopedics for more information. Starting to run out of innings here for the Corn Belt League's Coleman A's. Redfield with the lead. Bottom of the seventh, they'll send up the heart of the order. Barrett Wren, Brock Anderson, Drew Dick out to face Dean Entringer. Defensive change for Coleman. Quigley will move from left to center, and Jordan Sayre will take over left field duties for the A's. First pitch is a fastball away to Barrett Rent, first baseman. One for three on the night with a single left-handed batter. Off-speed pitch, hit up in the air and it might be mine. Oh, it's way short. Down by the old commissioner guys that sit in the lawn chairs down front. One ball, one strike. I know during the season I told you that Cadwell Park was gonna cover the fans with sunshade this year. Well, it didn't happen. They're they were going to do it next year. <laughs> okay, they got plans. Just didn't come together this year. Off-speed pitch. That's going to bounce on the plate. Two balls, one strike. Boy, if they could get shade on this plate. It gets a little hot out there in the concrete when you're out here on a Friday afternoon at 2 o'clock. Off-speed pitch. Oh, my. The batter bailed out of the box. And the pitch comes across for a strike. Two balls, two strikes to Barrett Wren. Swing and a miss makes him chase something off the plate for out number one here in the seventh. Strikeout number 10 in the ball game for Dion Entringer. Brock Anderson, the batter. Brock 0 for 3. Couple strikeouts and a ground out tonight for the big right handed hitter. First pitch swinging, he's going to single in the gap between shortstop and third. And Anderson now one for four. So one away. Redfield with a base runner. Drew Dick out will be the batter. Dick out 0 for two. Reaching a walk. Reaching the fielder's choice. And lined out to shortstop Clark. Entering or working from the stretch. Comes set at the waist. Now delivers. Breaking ball. Outside corner. Strike one call. Levi Logan on deck for the Redfield Pheasants. And the one strike pitch. Swing and a miss. He chases one in the dirt. And it's two strikes. On Dick out. Entering or still got good stuff. You just look up there at that scoreboard and you see the four errors up there. That explains a lot. Here's the two strike pitch. Fastball, it's in the dirt and that's going to get back to the screen as it bounces away from Sayre. And down to second base goes Brock Anderson on the wild pitch. That puts him on second, second in the scoring position. One out, one and two, the count to Drew Dickout. He's still going to have to protect. Antringer delivers. Swing and a miss. Makes him go after a breaking ball. Strikeout number 11 sends Dickout back to the bench. And Levi Logan will be the batter. The right fielder, 0 for 3, struck out. 
ground out and reached on the air and scored that big run in the sixth, that insurance run for Redfield. Bottom of the seventh, 4-1. Redfield leads Coleman. Breaking ball. <laughs> oh, wow. That's about as long as an umpire could ponder a call and call a strike. As he calls the breaking ball a strike. He framed, the umpire framed that one. One strike to count. There's a fastball swing and a miss. And it's two quick strikes on Levi Logan, and he's got Levi Logan guessing. You don't want to guess against Dion Entringer. As soon as you guess, here comes that darn changeup. Two strikes to count. Fastball going to be flared down the right field line, fouling out of play. Pretty good contact on that foul ball. Yondel on deck for the Redfield Pheasants. They finish second in the Northern Plains League behind Aberdeen. I don't know how Aberdeen and Redfield are in the same league. I guess it's called mileage. Swing and a miss. There's the changeup. Hung on to by Nick Sayre. So three strikeouts in the inning for Dean Entringer. He now has 12 in the ball game. Four, one, Coleman with two innings left. We'll be back in one minute. Now is the time to save at Grossenberg Implement on Hydraulic Cylinders. Do you have an older one that you've been fighting for a while or continually or continuously adding hydraulic oil to? Then stop in this week and save 8% on all hydraulic cylinders only at Grossenberg Implement. Not sure you want to tackle the job to replace it? Grossenberg can do that too. Stop in today and see how Grossenberg can help you. Grossenberg Implement, service to the ag community since 1937. This is Jason with Dakota Carpet Restoration. No job is too small or too big. Leaked water from frozen pipes, sump pump failures, or a flooded basement? We can help. If your house is underwater, no problem. Call us right away. Even if it's 3 in the morning, we'll take care of the water damage before mold sets in. Dakota Carpet Restoration, 481-8709. The clean you expect, the service you deserve. Cooper Walton, one and one record in the book for the season. And he comes in to relief of Brock Anderson. Anderson allowed one run on five hits. And Anderson walked one. He walked one. Struck out seven in the ball game. Good night of work for Brock Anderson. Now it's Cooper Walton. That Redfield's counting on to bring them home to a first-round victory. For the Coleman A's in the eighth inning, they bring up the top of the batting order. This is the inning right here for the Coleman A's. Quigley, Clark, and Tringer to bat in the eighth. Cam Quigley is one for two, a single. He scored the run, also reached on a walk tonight. His only out was a ground out to third. The left-handed pickup player from the Gamecocks. And there's a fastball, belt high right down the middle. And that one, that one made the catcher's putt, made the glove pop a little bit, had some speed on that one. So Walton throws hard. One strike. Fastball misses away, one and one. Now he wants to talk to his catcher about the signs. So if Cooper Walton, Okay, so Anderson, Keen comes on the game. Anderson, the pitcher, moves to third base. Dick out, goes from his third base spot to shortstop. So that'll put Cooper Walton in Keen's spot in the batting order, which would be in the leadoff spot. There's a fastball low. Two balls, one strike. To the leadoff man here in the eighth. Coleman needs base runners. There's a fastball high. Now three and one. And the relief pitch, pitcher Cooper Walton is going to go for a little walk. He's in danger of walking. The first batter he faces here in the eighth, Speedy Cam Quigley. 
Here's the 3-1 delivery. That's a fastball inside, and he misses, and Quigley goes to first base. His second walk of the night. And Coleman's got a base runner. 4-1. They need more than one base runner. And Paul Clark will be the batter. Clark, one for three. Couple of infield pop-outs and a single last time up. Paul was erased at second base. Fastball misses low and away. One ball to count. Fastball misses inside. And Cooper Walton's having trouble throwing strikes here. 2-0 the count. Dion Entringer on deck. Paul Clark. The runner goes. Fastball's high, and Quigley's not even going to draw a throw. He stole that all the way. So Quigley now at second base. That's what Cam Quigley does. That's why he, nice pickup for Coleman. It kind of fills a need for them. Gives them a little more speed on the bases. And a pretty good hitter. Quigley hits 322. So 3-0 oh to Paul Clark. Now the catcher, Babcock, out to talk to his pitcher again. And I can just about hear Brock Anderson now at third base saying, maybe I should have pitched some more. Cooper Walton's having trouble throwing strikes. Now the right-hander. He digs in in front of the rubber now, doing a little dirt work on the mound. Here's the 3-0 delivery, and that'll be a fastball thigh-high right down the middle, strike one. So 3-1 and one now. A true hitter's count for Paul Clark, and now Walton steps off the rubber. Now back on, 3-1 pitch is going to be on the way. He sets, he sets at the shoulder blades, and now or fastball misses away, and two base runners now, back-to-back -back walks, have put runners on first and second. The crowd, Redfield's got a vocal crowd here, and they wanted that pitch called a strike. And you know what I always say, the umpire's always right. Dion Entringer with two men on. Dion 0 for 3 tonight. Right-handed batter. There's a fastball. The dark one at the knees outside corner. Dion just takes that. Dion, one of the rare players. No batting gloves for Dion Entringer. He's up there barehanded. And there's a fastball. Same place. Where did where did this sudden Cooper Walton control come from? Two quick strikes on Dion Entringer. Two men on, nobody out as Coleman threatens here in the eighth. Runner goes. Ground ball to shortstop. That's going to be handled by Dick out. They get the run. Oh, they get a double play. Dion just not running real well, and they're going to double him up. It's going to go six, four, four, three, double play. Quigley had third stole. He'll stay there. But now with two out, and Chase DeWitt will be the batter. Now we've got the manager for Redfield, Jim Miller, coming out. He wants to talk to, I believe, the second baseman, Crum. As he had a little bit of a mix-up with Paul Clark at second base. And Crum waves for him to go back to the dugout. I'm okay. So Quigley at third, two out after that. Really nice double play turned by Redfield. And DeWitt will be the batter. Chase DeWitt, two for three in the ball game. Singled in the second, ended up stranded at second. Struck out and then singled in the sixth, ended up stranded at third. He's first pitch swinging, ground ball to third base. Anderson, skip, skip, throw, and retires to end the inning. 5-3 on the putout. So Quigley ends up stranded at third. It's 4-1, bottom of the eighth, coming up in one minute.
Eklund Tax Service, located at 323 Main Street in Gregory, South Dakota, is available for all your tax preparations. Mark Eklund has been a staple in the Gregory community for many years and wants to help you and your business have success by specializing in all types of bookkeeping. Eklund Tax can take care of any agricultural, retail, or personal bookkeeping or tax preparation. Call Mark at Eklund Tax today at 605-835-9665. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at MenholtAuto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. Bottom of the game, 4 1, Redfield leads, and they look to add to their lead here. With the bottom three in the batting order, Keith Yondel doubled in the fifth and scored the first run of the, of the ball game. He's one for two with a walk. Swing and a miss at a breaking ball. Yondel now with a one ball, one strike count. And entering her delivers. Fastball going to be rolled out to second base. Koopel's going to have to charge it. And he quickly throws and they get him by a step. Oh, my. He thought he had that beat out, but nope, you are out. 4-3 on the put out. So slowly hit that Koopel had to charge that. And the really short throw. Kevin Crum will be the batter. Kevin won for two with a single and a run scored. He also has a walk. As Dion's given up four walks in the ball game, and there's an off-speed pitch that misses inside. Ball one. Banger on deck for Redfield. Here's Enter's pitch. Breaking ball. Foul back to the screen. Looking at the ninth for Coleman. It'll be Kupel, Meyer, and Sayre, the middle of the batting order coming up. In the ninth. 4 1. Only nine hits in this ball game. Breaking ball going to be looped to first base. DeWitt has that easily for out number two. For Redfield, the center fielder, Nate and Banger. Nate Banger strides to the plate, the slender right-hander. He's 0 for 3 on the night. Did reach on an air in the fifth and score. Otherwise, a couple of strikeouts for Banger. Right-handed batter. He likes to swing and goes after the first pitch. High fastball, fouls that back to the screen. He's aggressive. you got to give him that. Nate Binger. Entering or working from the full windup. And the delivery. Check swing. And I think that was fouled off the bat. Either there. They put they put a strike up on the board. The umpire will tell us if we're wrong. Strike two. Ball did something weird, like it bounced off the plate or off a bat or something. Here's a two-strike pitch. And he tries to cut that outside corner with a breaking ball and just misses. One and two now. And Dion Entringer now steps off the rubber. Now he's back on. Now the batter's going to step out. A little game being played here. Now Binger back in. One ball, two strikes. Here's the pitch. And it's fastball just high. Now two balls, two strikes. Tough pitch to take. Entringer doesn't get the call. And it's two and two. Here's the pitch. And there's a breaking ball. That'll be called. Strike three in the outside corner, and Binger sits down. Three up, three down for Redfield in the eighth. Coleman is down 4-1. It's their time in the ninth in one minute. 
The Gola Buffalo Casino at Lower Brule is proud of our area youth for their competitive spirit and participation in the various high school activities. It takes dedication and commitment to be the best you can be. It's all about sportsmanship and not whether you win or lose, but how you play the game. The Gola Buffalo Casino is your winning destination for great food and more ways to win. More often, our youth, our future. We at the Gola Buffalo Casino say thanks for all you do. When we think American-made, we think quality and craftsmanship. That's why at Badlands Distillery, all of our spirits are made in-house, one small batch at a time. We believe the best spirits start with the best ingredients, so we're proud that the Badlands Distillery lineup uses high-quality, locally sourced ingredients. So the next time you enjoy the smooth taste of a Badlands Distillery spirit, you know you're drinking the best. Badlands Distillery, proudly American-made. One Redfield lead scheduled to bat for Coleman here in the ninth inning. It's Tim Kupel, Chris Meyer, Nick Sayre. Kupel will lead off. 0 for 3 on the night. A couple strikeouts and reaching a fielder's choice. Tim, a 293 hitter on the season. Needs to get it started here for Coleman. They need base runners. Down 4 to 1. On the mound, Cooper Walton starting his second inning of work. Got helped out by a double play in the eighth inning. There's a breaking ball. It misses away. Ball one. Walton looked really wild when he came in at the start of the eighth inning, then kind of settled down. There's a fastball at the knees. Kupel shows the umpire that it was low, and the umpire just looks away. One ball, one strike. And here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. Fastball high. Probably guessing here, but I think Tim Kupel played quite a few years for Lake Norton. That, that seems to ring in my brain that he played for Lake Norton. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Fastball just under the hands, called a strike. Now two balls, two strikes to Tim Kupel. Chris Meyer is in the on-deck circle, so he'll be up next. Here's the 2-2 two -two pitch. Fastball swing and a miss, and Kupel's retired for out number one in the ninth. Don't forget, more action tomorrow, 11 o'clock. I'll be here. Salem Cubs versus Cologne. Two young teams going to run the bases and entertain us tomorrow on FM 103. God, I love August. I announced a tractor pull Thursday. Got home at a two, tractor pull Friday, get home at three, and now baseball. And then baseball again tomorrow. I love my life. Fastball right down the middle. Meyer takes it for strike one. Nick Sayre is in the on-deck circle, I believe. Here in the top of the ninth, 4-1. Redfield trying to finish off Coleman here in 2021 State Amateur Tournament. Chopper going to be rolled to first base. Wren will take it himself. And Meyer is out number two in the ninth. The catcher, Nick so Nick Sayre comes to the plate. Nick, 296 hitter on this season. Think he just showed up with Coleman last year. So his second year with the A's. One and three. One for three in this ball game. A couple of ground outs and a single to the gap in right center. Barker on deck, and two away here. And there's a fastball in the outer corner from Cooper Walton for strike one. And Walton delivers. Fastball hit into short center field. It's going to be tough, but a running catch by Benger. And Redfield is going to move on in this tournament as they knock off Coleman, 4-1 in this ball game. So Coleman is done, but they made it back to state this year. Good job there. But they run into Redfield and lose a, basically lose a pitching battle with airs. We'll be back with a short post-game show here on FM 103 in three minutes. Farm farming operation with the locally owned and operated Farmer's Ag Center of Madison. With their state-of-the-art facility, Farmer's Ag Center offers trusted advice 